folks today we're going to talk about in-app guidance what is in-app guidance well in-app guidance is this absolutely amazing salesforce tool that will help you to drive adoption now typically in-app guidance is used on the home page or on the record page today we are going to use in-app guidance in analytics so if you have built some awesome dashboards and visualizations we'll use in-app guidance that will pop and tell your users that hey this awesome feature is now available to use so let's dive in all right folks so i have logged into my demo org in order to create in-app guidance i need to go to setup so let's do that uh, once the setup opens in quick find i'm going to type in in-app in-app guidance and then click on add this will open a new tab and this is the configuration for in-app guidance builder now remember we want the in-app guidance on the analytics page so i'm going to simply click on analytics this tells salesforce that hey we are going to build an in-app guidance on this particular page so i'm going to click on add i have a couple of options simple uh, single prompt or walkthrough the in-app guidance that i'm creating i want to give users a tour of crm analytics right so i want to tell them what crm analytics is I want to tell them about the training resources and finally I want to announce the launch of a new dashboard. So I'm going to click on walkthrough and then select a prompt type. Again, Salesforce has amazing prompt types as floating prompt, doc prompt, targeted prompt. Targeted prompt works very well on record pages, but for this video, I'm going to select doc prompt and this is how doc prompt looks like. Let's click on next. I'm going to add header. So I'm going to say CRM analytics. Uh, the title is going to be welcome to the world of analytics uh, let's copy and paste some content right out of the Salesforce uh, web page uh, and this is very simple content it's essentially just telling users what is CRM analytics and how it will help them uh, now I want the users to proceed to next step so I'm going to click on add step again I'm going to select doc prompt click on next I'm going to say, uh, let's say announcement, new dashboard, sales, and add some content. Let's say we are excited to announce the launch of sales analytics dashboard 2.0. And then we can add some nice image here. Go here, click on example. Done, right? Uh, sales dashboard. So now I want the users to know that they have access to some amazing training resources. So finally, I'm going to click on add step. Again, doc prompt. Click on next and say training resources title would be did you know you have access to some amazing training resources that will help you to build amazing let's say incredible dashboards and visualizations and then I am going to paste a link to my YouTube channel. So let's do this. Save. And this is done, right? Uh, now I'm going to click on save. I don't really care about any action. So I'm going to click on next date range. Let's say we want to start today uh, because the page has, uh, the, the dashboard was launched today. So let's click on next. I don't want any profile restrictions. You can assign it to specific profiles. Uh, this sales dashboard was launched to all users. So let's say there's no uh, profile restrictions. Same with permissions. Again, we are not going to restrict to any permissions. Next, let's give a detail. Let's say in app guidance for sales. And one thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to set up an end date for schedule. I want this to run only for until Friday, right? Uh, okay, let's do next, next, next. 
we can add some description in app guidance for sales and then click on save okay let's see how this looks so I'm going to click on start testing and once this runs I'm going to click on analytics and there you go so I have step one of three we created three prompts this tells me everything about analytics click on next uh, this announces the new dashboard we are excited to announce the launch of sales analytics dashboard I see this nice image I can click on next and it tells me that I have access to some incredible resources I can simply click on YouTube it will take me to my channel where I can learn everything about CRM everything analytics so I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you use in-app guidance to boost some adoption in your Salesforce instance again please share this video subscribe to my channel some amazing content lined up and I'll see you next week